Hello, my name is Tom Walter. I'm a scientific fellow at Waters. In this video, I'll introduce a new family of hillock columns named Atlantis Premier BEH Z hillock. These columns are packed with a Zwitterionic stationary phase based on ethylene bridged hybrid or BEH particles, combining the wide pH range of BEH particles with the strong hillock retention of Zwitterionic surfaces. The surface of this new stationary phase contains sulfo betaene groups which, like all Zwitter ions, has positively and negatively charged groups in a one-to-one -one ratio, making them net neutral. Because they're very hydrophilic, they accumulate a thick layer of adsorbed water, which makes them strongly retentive in hillock. This strong retention can be seen in these chromatograms, comparing the separation of seven neutral compounds on the BEH Z hillock column compared to BEH amide and BEH hillock columns. The Z hillock column gives the greatest retention for all seven analytes, with retention factors ranging from 40 to 100% higher than those for the amide column. Besides strong retention for polar neutrals, BEH Z hillock columns also show different selectivity, especially for ionized compounds. You can see this in these chromatograms that compare the separation of an anion and a cation on the same three columns. The elution order is switched on the Z hillock column, with the anion eluting after the cation. The batch-to-batch -batch reproducibility is excellent for the BEHZ hillock stationary phase, as shown by the very low relative standard deviations for the relative retentions of a mixture of acids, bases, and neutrals, which range from only 0.7 to 2.2%. These values are comparable to those of some of the most reproducible C18 stationary phases. The BEHZ hillock columns are recommended for use from pH 2 to 10, which was established using accelerated stability tests. This is a wider range than that of silica-based water ionic columns and comparable to a polymer-based sulfur beta ene column. The last important feature is the column hardware, which uses our patent-pending MaxPeak high-performance surfaces technology to mitigate interactions between analytes and metal surfaces. When using standard stainless steel columns, these interactions cause peak broadening and tailing for many anionic compounds, like adenosine, mono, di, and triphosphate. In contrast with the MaxPeak HPS technology used in Atlanta's premier BEHZ hillock columns, we achieve excellent peak shape for these compounds. While BEHZ hillock columns are useful for a wide range of applications, one area where they're particularly enabling is in separating nucleotides and related compounds. The combination of high efficiency, strong retention, and good peak shapes for phosphorylated compounds results in this excellent separation of a mixture of 13 nucleotides nucleosides, and nucleobases. For more information, please go to the link on your screen below.